Reddit. What wedding moment made you think, they are not going to last long? As a wedding photographer I have been to more than my share of weddings. It was a real shotgun wedding. Dad didn't realize it would not stand up in court. Only time the groom was more excited to have photos than the bride. She wanted a limo, he thought a hearse would be better and kept doing lurch impressions. From the Adams family. Her friends took turns motorboating her, females, and he said, get it out of your system as after tonight you never get to do that again. Was a good sign also when she dove into the pool with her bridesmaids at the reception, in her wedding dress. Don't know what happened. Sat down with bride and groom, filling out the contract. Got the deposit. He stood up, said forget it, and walked out. Two months later I get told the wedding is off, three months later she calls to rebook, different groom. Day of the wedding I am at the church. Got the final payment the week before. No one shows. No one, just me and the DJ. She told me two days before that she found her fiancé annoying and that she didn't like him and that he was awful in bed. She was visibly, endlessly uncomfortable at the rehearsal wedding slash dinner combo. Then she sobbed the entire morning, day of. She ended up not getting any makeup done cause she wouldn't stop scream sobbing and refused to get dressed, stalling the wedding 35 minutes. She then said 45 minutes of vows that she had prepared, 9 pages of things like inappropriate vows to friends and family, his parents and sisters, none of them her husband, and then almost didn't say I do. Managed to get a, uh, yeah, okay, yeah I do out of her almost a full 60 seconds after she was supposed to say anything. I could go on for hours, but it was the most painful and awkward wedding I've ever been to. I've got my money on 10 months. We're one month in. I'm witnessing one from the sidelines now. My wife's brother just got married this past May. Bride's mother is a big DIY person and went a little nuts with extra flowers, table pieces, decorations, etc. Note I said extra, it was already decorated by the venue, she just took it upon herself to buy and add way more stuff. Anyway, a few weeks ago she sends my mill, groom's mom, an email with receipts of all the extra stuff she bought, $7,000 worth, and asked that she pay half since it was technically set up in time for the rehearsal dinner for guests to enjoy. It's causing a huge rift between the newlyweds since the bride is taking her mom's side. Gosh, help, when unasked for, can be the absolute worst. I've got to. One of my good friends got married and I'd never met her before the wedding because she's just shy. On the wedding day, she was belligerently drunk before the ceremony even started and couldn't even get through the lines she was supposed to repeat, i.e. I promise to love you. She ended up slapping the groom, spilling champagne on her dress, and then crying under a table while he tried to comfort her. They lasted about four months. Another one was my wife's friend. She's a very conservative, religious white girl who married a black man. Most of her racist family didn't approve of the marriage and didn't show up. But she planned the whole marriage around race. Like a vanilla cake for her and a chocolate cake for him, the wedding colors were black and white, and even the meals were white meat for her side and dark meat for his. It was extremely uncomfortable as a guest. They lasted two years, but broke up because he was abusive and almost killed her, rather than the weird racial tension. Not at the wedding itself, but I used to work at a David's bridal. Bride came in with tons of friends, we did the say yes to the dress thing, and an hour later she'd standing there in $3,000 worth of stuff and doesn't have any money with her or in her account. She decides she wants to apply for the store credit card, I run it through the system, and she gets denied. She then calls the groom for his info, which, to be fair, people did all the time, and he tells her no. She threw a huge fit on the phone with him, standing on the bridal stage, literally demanding why not. Why? Why? 
like an actual child over and over again. I've never seen a 30-year-old age backwards so quickly. She was just a brat. Literally stomping her feet in front of me, all her friends, and the other bride in the store. I was embarrassed. At the end of all of that, she hangs up on him and her friend is like I'm so sorry you can't get your dress and the bride stops crying instantly and just goes oh I'll get the dress. I just have to do this at home and when he gets mad enough he'll come get it for me so I'll stop. Speechless. Sure enough. Girl came back two days later with her man and he applied for the credit card and bought the dress. He was livid and silent, and she was smug as hell. Can't imagine they're having a happy marriage if they are still together. My wife got invited to a client's daughter's wedding. The couple were both drama students. Many of the bridal party were drama students. The maid of honor's toast consisted of tearful declarations of unrequited love to the groom, along the lines of if it couldn't be me, I'm glad it's my best friend that's marrying you. The best man's speech was a lusty declaration of if it doesn't work out, call me, babe, like the previous time you called me. Other toasts were similarly weird. A guy at the table I was seated at was a friend of the bride and said to me that he was this close to standing up during the speak now or forever hold your peace thing. I'm still not sure if the whole thing was a bunch of emotionally fucked up 20 year olds, or one big piece of performance art. I was maid of honor. Me, best man and the couple went into a separate little room to do the signing stuff. Bride excused herself to go the bathroom and the groom started making pretty mean remarks about her cooking, sth she's passionate about, to the officiary. She came back, heard they were talking about cooking family meals together and gave him the warmest smile, thinking he had praised her. He scoffed awkwardly and changed the topic. That always stuck with me. He wasn't laughing with her but at her, behind her back. They lasted seven months. This one is so heartbreaking hope your friend is doing better now. I'm reminded of someone I read about maybe 20 years ago, a college professor who developed a protocol for predicting whether prospective marriages were likely to last. IIRC he had the engaged couple discuss some tender issues, topics they would fight about. They would videotape the session, then research assistants would watch the tape, counting the various interactions of note. That data produced their prediction. His research showed that fighting was not a problem as such, lots of happy long-laying marriages had lots of fighting. The crucial aspect was whether the couple was mutually respectful during their fight. Observed disrespect was a very strong predictor of a short-lived marriage. I have kept that in mind when dating. If I feel like she seems to be contemptuous of me at any point, that's a massive red flag. I ended a relationship when I realized I was treating her disrespectfully. Be nicer I would tell myself. After a while I realized that I simply did not respect her and that was a big problem. In the 1995 BBC Pride and Prejudice the dad says something like I couldn't abide you having a marriage, Lizzie, where you cannot respect your spouse, like my marriage, dot. There are two XMRS Lebrowskis. They both broke my heart. I'm permanently sad that I couldn't make either marriage last. I take some joy, though, from the fact that I deeply respected both of them when we got married and still do now, 37 and 15 years later. Oh, well the first part isn't necessarily a deal breaker. One of the best weddings I've ever been to included an Olympics between the bride and her bridesmaids, Russian, and the groom and his groomsmen, Lebanese. Main event was a vodka relay where they, no shit, chugged pint glasses. Lebanese put in a fantastic showing, but the Russians mopped the floor with them without even taking their heels off. It was hilarious, they all still managed to host and throw a wonderful party for another few hours, and they've been happily married for over a decade with three beautiful kids. Edit, oh, and my husband just reminded me that these motherfuckers woke up the next morning and hosted brunch for us. Unbelievable. Um where to start? 
the best man was the groom's coke dealer who dressed in a tux, the only one in a tux. The groom was high on coke and giggled throughout the whole ceremony. The host of the party alternated between arguing with his wife in Russian and running up to us every time he saw us, the bride's friends, the only people that showed up from her side for the wedding, whenever he saw us in groups of two or more and tell us don't smoke weed, if she, his wife, won't let me smoke weed in the house then you guys can't. Every. Time. We. Grouped. Up. You know you fucked up when your plug is the classiest person at your wedding. My brother's ex-wife. Throughout the exchange of vows, she was looking at everyone but my brother, making sure all eyes were on her. Later, she instructed the photographer, a family friend who was cheap, to mingle and get shots of people being happy. Within 10 minutes, she'd summon the photographer back shouting, whose wedding is this? I meant get shots of people being happy for me. Edit, thought I'd add, they broke up when she cheated on him. Apparently, that marriage she was desperate for was only good while it brought her attention. The bachelor party and the bachelorette party were in Vegas at the same time. Across the hall from each other. The bride and groom got in a huge fight on the last night of the trip and when I was leaving I said I'll see you guys at the wedding to the groom and he replied I'm not sure there's gonna be one. There was a wedding, but they were divorced within 18 months I believe. One of my friends was the best man at another friend of ours wedding. His best man speech included this line I prepared some lines for tonight, but the groom sniffed them all in the bathroom. Three months later there was a divorce due to a coke problem.